Drowning in raw numbers? Watch how ChatGPT turns a wall of data into clear answers and real insights. Want the full toolkit? Check out our complete ChatGPT masterclass, link below. Let's get started. ChatGPT can actually help you clean up messy data. It can interpret spreadsheet content. It can analyze trends and even generate summaries or visualizations. You can do this in two main ways. You can paste the data directly into the chat right here, like a table that is copied from Excel or Google Sheets, or you can upload a file, either a CSV or an Excel file by pressing on this little plus sign and then add files and photos. From there, you can ask questions like, what are the most common issues in this support log? Which product had the highest sales in the first quarter? Can you spot any trends or anomalies in this data? This is especially useful if you are an entrepreneur who is making sense of reports, or maybe a student writing a data-driven paper, or even a marketer reviewing campaign performance. So you don't really need to sort rows manually or build pivot tables because ChatGPT can help you understand and explain your data in plain language. In the next lesson, we'll be uploading a sample file and walk through a full analysis from raw spreadsheets to actionable insights. Let's jump in. Let's get into the real power move uploading actual spreadsheet files and having ChatGPT do the heavy lifting for you. Now I'm going to click on this little plus button and select add photos and files. This way I can upload files straight from my computer. I'm going to select this example file and hit upload. Once it is uploaded, ChatGPT will show you the name just like this and confirm it's pretty much ready to go. Now we're not done. I'm going to go into the prompt section here and start typing away. Please analyze this data set and give me insights on top performing products, monthly sales trends, and any anomalies, any anomalies you notice. You'll see how ChatGPT will process this data. And as you can see, it broke down the information into human readable summaries. This is honestly way faster than going through the rows myself. Here we have sales anomaly says unable to display the visualization. That's okay. Cause I never really asked for a visualization, but here we have some insights, the top performing products, monthly sales trends, sales anomalies. No significant anomalies were detected. Maybe that's why it was unable to display. So here we go. And here's all the data, but now we can take it a little bit further. So we're going to dig a little deeper and ask it to create a summary and also visualize it in a bar chart. So I'm going to start typing. Can you create a table summarizing the monthly trends? and visualize this as a bar chart. It's not a question. It is a statement. Okay. If you are on GPT 4.0, like I am, as you can see up here, you will see this kind of native chat appear in the chat. And this actually helps you a lot because you don't really need to fire up Excel or Google sheets. You get all the visualized data right here in ChatGPT. And now let's squeeze out some insights. I'm going to go back to the prompt and start typing. Do you see any outliers or have any recommendations based on this data? And it has broken down everything that we need to know in a beautiful way. Got recommendations, performance trends, and outliers everything that we needed and more conveniently more. So this works both on free and the paid plan. So you can upload files and analyze them, but deeper analysis and visualization, like I just did. And of course, cleaner formatting works best with GPT 4.0, which is part of the plus plan. Free users, of course, have the ability to upload files, but it is limited on how many files you can upload 
per day. So keep that in mind. Overall, this kind of workflow is perfect for anyone who's working with reports, survey results, product tracking, really anything you name it. In the next lesson, however, we will look at using ChatGPT to extract insights from pasted data without uploading any files. So what if you don't have a spreadsheet to upload or you're on the free plan and you unfortunately have hit your file upload limit for the day? Well, like I said before, don't worry because you can still analyze data inside ChatGPT by just pasting it as plain text. So here's how it works. Let's say you've got a small list of expenses, something like this. You can copy this from any other source that you have go back to ChatGPT. I usually put these things in quotes, paste it in. I just used my keyboard shortcut, which was Command C. And now I'm holding down Shift and Return on my keyboard so I can put in my prompt because we're not done here yet. I'm going to ask it to group these <laughs> by category and show totals in a table and boom, everything is organized and everything is calculated. This is absolutely perfect for things like quick budget reviews, tracking simple lists, or even categorizing survey responses. Now I can take it a step further. You can also organize this information in any way you want. So I'm going to go back to the prompt box and say, now sort this table by total spent highest to lowest. And here you have it completely organized. So this, like I said before, works for both the free and the plus users. There is no file upload necessary, which makes it super easy. And of course, as you can see, this is best used with smaller databases. And also this kind of thing works across the GPT models. However, the formatting is much cleaner with GPT 4.0. So yeah, even without uploading anything, you have still got a solid way to break down your data fast just by pasting and prompting. It's like Excel Lite, but in a conversation. All right, so let's talk about something that might not be super flashy, but still is super important when working with text or spreadsheet data, which is cleaning and formatting. So imagine you've got a bunch of messy data, names typed in all lowercase, maybe dates in random formats, or even a mix of columns you would want to clean up before uploading somewhere, right? So this is actually where ChatGPT can seriously save your time. You don't need to be a spreadsheet wizard. You can just describe what is it that you want to chat GPT and it will handle the logic for you. So let's say you have a list that is super random here. I'll copy an example in the chat box. So as you can see, you have all this messy data here, got names and random letters and random sizes. The dates are kind of whack, like some are written like this. The other ones are written differently. So what would you do in this situation? So you have all this data. I'm just going to put this in quotes just because I'm used to doing that at this point. And now you would type in this kind of prompt Clean this data. So each name is in title case and all dates follow the day slash month slash year format. So I'm exactly describing what it is that I need ChatGPT to do. I'll hit enter and watch the magic unfold right in front of your eyes. So as you can see, it fixed up the names, it capitalized the first letters of each name, and it fixed up the dates. And now I can just hit copy and paste this data in wherever it is that I need and everything is consistent and everything is clean. You can also change, for example, JSON to CSV, or you can also convert full names into separate first slash last name columns. Also, and this is one of my favorites, you can turn paragraphs into bullet points. So if you need to change a format there, this is a super fast and easy way to do that. So you pretty much just describe what you want clearly. And of course, the more specific, the better. 
And of course, this does work for both free and paid plans, but if you are using GPT 4.5, it will be even more accurate for things like JSON structures or larger data tables. And GPT 4.0 is also great, especially if you're working fast and on the fly. Cleaning and formatting data doesn't have to be a drag like we all are familiar with. Just paste it in, describe what you want, and ChatGPT will do the heavy lifting. If that saved you a headache, like and subscribe and grab the full course linked in the description to master every ChatGPT skill.